It's agonizing, neglectful. And it shows such a dispassionate way of saying, I love you. Okay, I sit it. I sit, I love you. I didn't write that. I love you, dad, without a comma. Scary, actually. Because it's also saying, I have to say that. Which is a very ambitious tone. Because I shouldn't be having this conversation by myself. This is a conversation I should have with the person that is writing this to me without a comma. If you want that love, support is needed. If you want that love, you're neglecting something that can't give you love back because I need to be approachable to you in every cognitive sense of that word. And in real life, I'm pretty unapproachable because these conversations will not distract or detract and will not be a pungent degree of, it doesn't make sense, I love your poetry. <laughs> it's going to have a meaning that will either capsize you or will make you say, you know what, I want to go into this unfettered and be in love with my son. <laughs>